Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, the professional hobbit. Uh, this is the anime-inspired role-playing game powered by Overarms by Rook Jeff Studio, uh, only on Saving Throw. Now let's go ahead and meet our wonderful table before we get into our musical episode. That's right. You unlocked it. We're doing it. I am terrified. Huh? Ah, we're going to do it. We are supposed to sing today. That's Let's how meet it our works. wonderful cast. <laughs> starting with a duo who fight for what's right. It's Aki and Critical Bard. You introduce yourself first. You're my guest. Uh, oh, oh, hi. Um, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. Currently with Aki right now because I'm super excited about everything. Uh, and I like you all so much that you're the only show I decided to do this entire vacation time. So you're welcome. Oh, thank uh, you. Anywho, uh, yeah, I do too much uh, all the time. Look at all my socials. And uh, today I am Kuwame uh, uh, um What am I? Crap. Captain of the basketball team. Yes, you are. And squad. Uh, kind of, not really. And I Allegedly. am. Uh, connected to Anansi, who was my divinity, uh, the West African trickster god of stories. And I am Aki. I'm playing Manny today. Uh, I also tend to do too much sometimes, and you can also check out my <laughs> Twitch channel to see exactly what all that is. Um, and uh, yeah, Manny's divinity is the goddess Ma'at, uh, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and Harmony, um, and hopefully today I'll be popping off a few harmonies with this buddy right here. What? Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, I don't Manny. I, I I figured out some things about Manny that might oh. be uh, that might be um, yeah. <laughs> Manny Manny has a journey to go on. I think. Ooh, the hero's journey. Oh dear. Ooh, I love it. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> All right. So, am I going to have to sing every intro? Yes. They they get give the people what they paid for. You are the I, one who created the musical episode, you therefore. The musical episode. We're not the only ones that are going to be singing. You have so many NPCs that have to sing with us. It can't just be. I can I can barely do like three voices, and now you want me to sing in those voices. This is going to be a disaster, and it's going to be very funny. Uh, <laughs> I have to sing right. Dahlia's voice. Come on. <laughs> She's got. She dreamed a dream of times gone by. <laughs> I dreamed that her name is Mika. Hello, my name is Rick Mika, <laughs> and I would like to share with you my character, Dahlia Wingrove. Hello. Oh, it's so perfect. She's a theater student, and her divinity is Persephone, the goddess of the underworld. <laughs> that worked. Oh, that's going to be terrible. terrible. No, this is going to be awesome. I think you mean awesome. Incredible, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and if you care to find him, look for him on Twitch. His name is mostly Eric, and I don't know how to end this bit. Hey. 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 That worked. That worked. Hello, everyone. My name is Eric. Uh, I'm playing uh, Lennox Thatcher, uh, former captain of the football team, now man about town. And currently in possession of Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer. We have all kinds of reasons to sing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, real quick, we are still aiming for $250 in tips an episode or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges. It keeps the, keeps the lights on. It keeps the show going. It lets us make new shows. And it keeps everyone paid. So it's very much appreciated. Um... If you can afford to back us, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just sharing, liking, commenting, being here in the chat, it's all good and we all love you. Uh, for $15, 1,500 bits, or five gift subs, we will have our canonical uh, sexual goddess Gladys uh, read a message on the air. So... It's so easy out. for me to just like laugh off screen. I just go like this. <laughs> I wouldn't say sexual. She's just a woman. She's a woman in touch with herself and confident. Listen, I'm she's just saying she bought the textbook in the 90s and it changed everything for her. Now, is she Hestia or is she Aphrodite or some? Ariana Grande. 
Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> now, was a very special thank out. Uh, a very special thank you. Uh, to our sponsors, Roll20 and Die Hard Dice. Roll20 is a virtual tabletop available online right now, completely free. It is a wonderful service. We <laughs> use it for not only reference images, but for music, sound effects. And if you play a system like Dungeons & Dragons, that really does work better if you have a grid and minis and all that stuff. It's perfect for that. So make sure you check out Roll20. Um, and also, Die Hard Dice. Uh, and... If you use code Saving Throw Show at checkout, you get 10% off your order. Check it out if you're in the chat with exclamation point DH Dice for links and info. And hey, you can buy the critical barge dice. See, I see I don't have them on me. Yeah, that's okay, but we do have a whole critical bard. Yes. Just, I, just, I will just roll him across the table. Please don't, roll. Don't, roll. <laughs> don't roll critical bard. That's not nice. It's okay. I consent. Though so I will expect you to MUA him and just gonna like hold, like hold him up to the camera with your hand behind him, so <laughs> auto focus. And hey, if you're not watching this live or listening to us live, thank you so much for catching up with us here on YouTube or uh, whatever podcasting app you use. It's very much appreciated. We love you dearly. Uh, make sure you do us a favor: like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know. I just hear that a lot on YouTube. Um, but it really does help. <laughs> yeah, don't give them a free advertisement. I'm like, you could be. <laughs> we right. could, we're not, but we could be. That's yeah. important. Well, not if you keep giving it away for free. Well, fine. I'll, I'll stop giving it away for free. That's what uh, my mom told me when I went to college. Whoa. Now... Uh. <laughs> And we want to send some special love to our everyone who is part of our Patreon. Join the Saving Throw Show Exploration Society. Your support comes with many rewards, special pins, swag, merch discounts, one-page adventures. Uh, be a part of the society and join up today. And one more quick thing. Rookie Jet Studios, the creator of Overarms, the system we use, currently has a couple new games on the market, one of them being called Boncho Meow Meow. So if you want to be a gangster cat, <laughs> one day you are a stray cat walking around doing cat stuff, and by night you are part of the street gang. This is the game for you. Okay, but like, is it like hood gangster or is it like say hello to my little friend gangster? Uh, I guess that depends on the table you're at. It kind of depends on the table you're at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness! If you, you guys, blinders, you guys. We... Need to look up Hood Olympics. <laughs> yep. There is legit a guy climbing a stack of crates while rolling a joint at the same time, and it's amazing. That takes skill. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. That takes skill. It's so great. Not that I know. Don't worry about it, Mom. Um... <laughs> because it's for <laughs> It would be great if you get up to the top and you have to smoke the entire joint. Before you can come back down. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be that part a, of it. That, that would be very, very fun. But uh, actually, it's Japanese teenage uh, hoodlum gangs, to be precise. But who cares? Play it the way you want. Little it's, chains around and have yeah. wear around. really, really long okay. skirts and your right. socks right. all the way up to your knees. Drive Today is West Side Story around. Cats. Obviously. Yes, West Side. <laughs> oh my God! I want to play West Side Story Cats so bad now. Except they can't snap. They don't have thumbs. Uh, also, hey, they can do what they want. They can do what they want, yes. Also, check out their other new game, Behind the Walls, a survival horror game where you fall through the cracks of society into, well, I don't really know. It's just kind of weird and horrifying. I don't know how else to sell it other than that. Anything else is a spoiler. So check that out as well at rookiejet.com. So, last week... You guys fought a storm demon. We did. Hmm. Yes. Uh, we also had... Dahlia had her first date with Spiro. And it was very cute. Was it cute? Manny kind of came to a conclusion about where they want to go in life. And it's a pretty big deal. Uh, Lenny got struck by lightning and is fine. Don't worry about it. And Kwame did some demon investigations. 
And today is a very important day for Dahlia Wingrove. Oh, no. Today is tryouts for the summer musical. Oh gosh. Here oh, lies God. love. Sorry. No, I no. As much as I'd love to do that, no. West Side Story. It's auditions. And at some point, Dahlia, you managed to convince everyone in the school safety squad to audition. Now, Nick is here, despite being nonverbal, as a sign of good support. And they have a look. They even brought their sketchbook. And, you know, go team. Aww. And the, the four of you are in the auditorium as one of the girls goes up and sings her five bars. And she is flat and sharp at the same time somehow. Oof. That's and this is about the fourth or fifth time you've had to deal with this. How are the four of you handling this very intense day? How did I convince Kwame? To <laughs> <laughs> did you see what is as convinced as you bullied? <laughs> It'll look great on college applications, I promise. I don't think I need um, the, the artist, the artistic um, vocalizing musical um, How about this? I will stop saying you're part of the safety squad for the rest of the semester if you try out for the musical. You drive a hard bargain. But 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 you're not the, you're not the only one who who says I'm on the safety squad. I I am um we can, if you and you can convince Manny and Linny and anyone else Plus, I don't actually have to be in this school musical. I just have to audition. Then I'll audition. Yeah, I mean, if you do bad. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Audition look Who better? I was going to do bad. I'm just saying. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do good, then maybe you'll like it and you'll be part of the musical with me. I will be a tree in the back away from the center of stage so when the the curtain thing comes does it come down does it go inside is it open is it like a disappearing there's a I'm stage i'm not really sure if there's trees prominently in west side story but are we doing west side story yeah. are we eligible to do west side story i've read the book oh the music the book of the music uh, I, I is it like you know like lots of immigrants versus like the, the the latin community or whatever it is. it's actually a complex allegory for uh for romeo and juliet i thought that was lion king no that's hamlet never that's mind everything a shakespeare thing if you really break it down far enough i mean really there's only six stories a nazi wearing <laughs> half of a phantom mask and a little cape just kind of scoffs when you say everything's a shakespeare Most story extra a yes. Nazi, he, always. He, a Nazi extra. is Bugs Bunny. Eventually, you guys are going to just accept that he's Bugs Bunny. <laughs> he's got a little, he's got a little organ set up on your shoulder, Kwame. Do, 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 do. And what is he doing, Stephen? <laughs> well, he actually could do that too. That's the worst part. Exactly. He could do like all the parts. <laughs> Anansi is going to glance up at you, Kwame. No, my, my angel of music. You're going to do fine. I, uh... Come to me, angel of music. Stick to your day job, which is not doing that. Oh. What I, are you worried about anyway? I'm not worried about anything. It's just not my forte. It's like, you wouldn't, well, you could. Like, Dahlia, you wouldn't come to a, a football tryout and try to be a linebacker. Yeah, I would. That'd be oh. great experience for if I wanted to, you know, try out for a football movie. I honestly think that a better position for you would probably be something like quarterback or kicker because you're small and you can go fast. Wow, thank you. No one's ever called me fast before. Yeah. I imagine like, yeah, you'd be kind of kind of spry, kind of a hard, hard to catch. When are football trials? I'd love to try out, Kwame. 
Um, uh, probably. Uh, hey, hey, I think, I think, I think you might be after this this person who's horribly singing something from that new movie in the Heights. It's really nice. <laughs> yes. Have you seen uh, In the Heights yet? The the new movie, yes, isn't it? Like it's like a new phenomenon from that um, from that Lynn Michael um, um, Lynn Michael person. I'm actually really proud that you got at least one of his names correctly. What I really love is so, someone who is a musical theater nerd playing someone who isn't and trying very hard to pretend that they don't have this knowledge. It's very fun for me. I think it's fun for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, the girl on stage is currently doing uh, Powerless, but mostly that one scene where uh, Usnavi and what's her name? She's not the most interesting character, are having the fight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you. Um, you didn't even oh, dance yeah. with me. It's like a really, it's, I hate to say it, but that scene is like lifted so hard off of Rent that it's not even funny. It really No. Like it just really the, is. it's. What? Well, it's lifted from Rent like and the on. Style, like stylistically, it is like. <laughs> Hardcore lifted, well, especially how the how the movie does it. And the worst part is, not only is it they tried to like take the easy tea break moment from La Vie Bohème and give it to Usnavi and Vanessa, but then they didn't give Benny and Nina their part in that sick. Just I have feelings. <laughs> hi, hi, here we go. It's a musical episode and hot takes about musical. Period. Okay, I will say, I will say, if we get ten subscribers uh, or Patreon pledges. We will do confessions of a we will do confessions of millennial emo. Uh, will be a where we'll play a quick game of uh, guilty pleasure musical confessions. So uh, we can get all that out there. That I'm in. And if we raise, uh, oh, thank you, chat. We have unlocked the first tier of our uh, story things. We do have rerolls now for the table. Five mm -hmm. rerolls available. Uh, like. But if we raise $125, we will be talking about our favorite musicals, be it Love Never Dies or something good. So what are you going to see, Manny? Uh, I actually, <clears throat> well, I kind of got a little bit busy with Pep Squad stuff and I I didn't really like learn a song. Eh. So I'm Pause. gonna just- eh. Hold on. I've been forced to do this. I'm, I have a song prepared. I'm going to audition. I'm just going to wing it. Because ah, I have wings. It, it, huh, that's clever. Em emancipation doesn't wing things. I think we need to end the Kim pops up from behind both of you uh, in, the, uh, in the seats. Well. Oh, no. So, Is it? Oh. <laughs> My goodness. Well, thank you, Be Right UK. Be Right UK, thank you so much. All right. All right. Confession. Okay. Musical confessions time or music confessions. Uh, all right. Here are the rules of the game you have to reveal an embarrassing song you've performed, an embarrassing song you love, or a musical that you know is bad but you just are obsessed with. I'll go first. Oh, damn. Okay, Eric. The first musical I ever auditioned for, uh, the, uh, I, for, for, was Bye Bye Birdie. And they had us all because it was a bunch of, we were theater kids, but not musical theater kids. So they all taught us, uh, uh, I'm getting married in the morning, like, you know, whatever, four bars or whatever. And I literally ch choked on stage, like, I'm getting married. <coughs> <coughs> And then, but I still finished, and like, but I like uh, toppers and get me to the church. Like that was my literal first audition. Poor for baby. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! Did you get cast? Yeah, I was. I was one of the background parents. Everyone got cast. It's it's Birdie. <laughs> Valid. Valid. My first musical I was in. Um, wait, was it a musical? My first theater show is and I I played Tweedledum in Alice in Wonderland. And everyone made fun of me for being Tweedledum for a year. And then I guess my most embarrassing moment on stage, I played Tinkerbell 
And they had adapted Tinkerbell into an actual personified part instead of a flashlight on stage. So I had like a lot of pink and just like glitter and everything, a pink wig that was very big. Um, and there's a scene in, in Peter Pan where the audience has to clap to keep Tinkerbell alive. And there was one night where the audience was very small and not many people clapped. So there wasn't realistically a way that Tinkerbell could come back to life. And so they just dimmed the lights on Tinkerbell. <laughs> And just like let her die. Oh no! <gasps> yeah. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Like, wow. Was I not selling it enough that night? Jeez. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> so the most embarrassing moment that I've ever experienced in a musical is I played uh, Martha in The Secret Garden. <gasps> Yeah, so it was good. a really, really wonderful experience, uh, except for the director, who is an absolute, I will not say the word on, on the air. Um, uh, but uh, I was singing If I Had a Fine White Horse, and I I froze in the middle of a verse and just full on dropped like a whole verse, just had like I don't I don't know how many of you have ever experienced that moment where you're just singing and you're everything is fine, and then all of a sudden it's just like I don't know what comes next. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. It's like you've been rehearsing this song for months and suddenly it's like your brain just wipes out. Mm -hmm. And that no. that like I remember going backstage and the director just giving me this look and I just looked at her back like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. It just happened. Mm -hmm. So that was the most embarrassing moment I think I've ever had on stage. Um, but arguably probably one of the best musicals I've ever had the opportunity to do. So I can't pick, so I'm going to say three things kind of rapidly. Uh, one, when I was in high school, my senior year of high school, I played Judas in Jesus Christ Superstar. And I was a senior who, like, you know, it's not that I was trying to like, show off anything then, but I knew I knew that I knew the, the show, and I knew it very well. So whenever I rehearsed, I, like, went full out, and I, I didn't know better as a kid. And then when opening night happened and I was hoarse for the entire rest of the run, no. uh, I learned really quickly that you shouldn't do that. And I'll never forget that every night I could always sing Heaven on Their Minds. And then after that, it was gone. Even to the point where after Gethsemane and Jesus comes back out with his simple, I mean, Judas comes back out with his simple line. It was literally, there he is. They're all asleep, the fools. <laughs> it was bad, <laughs> bad. <laughs> Number two, when I was in ragtime as co-house and I was singing Rules of a Dream, one night I just I just needed the extra boost. So in my tea, I had some turmeric and ginger, uh, which is just great, whatever. But unfortunately, this night, that turmeric and ginger got stuck in my throat. So the entire song, it was, I see it, this, <laughs> the, the entire time, the entire time. Oh, was, I hate that. It, it was like, I, and I couldn't stop, couldn't stop. Uh, last but certainly not least, I did a really, really horrible version of Trial by Jury by Gilbert and Sullivan, and I was mm -hmm. the groom, and we like tried to like modernize it, and it just didn't work. And we did it at a Fringe Festival, and they like ranked all the shows and stuff that they saw, and we literally were the worst show there. It was bad. Uh. It was bad. Uh, well, now, I've never done musical theater. But I was a choir boy for eight years. I feel like that speaks for itself. Yes. We, uh, <laughs> like competitions and stuff. Trophies were involved. Um, I had a solo for Man of Constant Sorrow because I was the only one in the choir who could do a southern accent. And I can actually belt when push comes to shove. I get up there, I do my solo. I'm very proud of myself, but I keep hearing giggling. Uh oh. Turns out my fly was down and uh, my <laughs> shirt was sticking out. <laughs> okay, that's Amazing. funny. That's actually hilarious. That's really great. That's yeah, so, so good. Full on scrot hanging out of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my scrot, it was just, just my shirt tail, shirt which made it look like that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, thank you, Chad, for that. <laughs> also, we are one subscriber away from reaching our 15 uh, subscriber goal, so just throwing that out there. But yes, Kim Winters, who is also an honorary member of the 
up school safety squad, just like Kwame, and doesn't want to be here, just like Kwame, leans over. So if he gets out of this, how do I get out of this? Because I want out of this. I'm not trying to get out of it. I'm just saying that I'm going to go up there and do my best. I I knew I, I, I everything's going to be fine. Yeah, I still want out of this. still had to prepare a song with it. Someone can just wing it, whatever. It's fine. It's cool. It's going to be do. great. I will be... Um, there will be uh, choices made. Well, I think that's the point of acting, is making choices. But you have to make good choices. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio makes good choices. I don't know. Have you seen The Man in the Iron Mask? That was maybe not the best choice. Hey, yeah, that's he all was I knew young. Was gay. He needed I'm money. Always, I've honestly always found Leonardo DiCaprio uh, overrated. I think his choice is he just yells, and that doesn't seem like acting. He's just yelling real loud. Okay. Yeah, but he's so dreamy. Oh, okay. Oh, he was. Yeah. Not 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 so much anymore. Anyways, I think Steven's you're offended. <laughs> well, it's more his personality, Steven, and the fact that he doesn't date anyone over twenty five, but he continues to age, but the girls he dates doesn't. Yeah. Didn't know that. A gross. Bit gross. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so as you are all talk talking, a Spiro approaches, except he is not dressed the way he usually is. He is currently wearing a uh, very unflattering blouse, a skirt that goes a little bit past the knee, um, a hat, and he is trying to hide his face with a uh, fan. Excuse me, Mr. Kwame, may I have a moment with you? Spiro says, thinking somehow you don't you all wouldn't recognize him immediately. Hi, Spiro. What are you doing? What's up? Hi. He closes the fan. He does have makeup on. <laughs> Eyeshadow out to here. Eyebrows out to here. It's a little what bit like... What happened to you? Look, it's a long story. And the back of the auditorium door is open. And he immediately dives underneath you. Kwame. Ah, oh, what the, uh, hide me, hide me. You have to hide me, okay? If you, if what happened, what happened on that train meant anything to you, you will hide me. There was never a train. I don't know what you're open. What do we see walking through the door? Through the door comes what can only be described as Middle Eastern Grace Jones. Ooh. Okay. She is a statue-esque goddess with cheekbones you could cut dimed with. Next to her is a man about five feet who kind of looks like the dad from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Maurice. Yes. Uh, it's an interesting visual. Right. Yes. Continue. He, she looks around um, and she has sunglasses on. You can't see her eyes, but you're pretty sure if you could see her eyes, you would melt immediately like the end of that one Indiana Jones movie because she's that intense. I guess, I guess very like, strong step on me energy. Very much that energy. I guess whisper, try not to move my mouth. Are you hiding from her and why? He pokes out from underneath the chair at to look up you. Uh, yes, that's my mom and my dad. Oh. That's a really interesting parent. No, no, Dahlia, Dahlia, no, no. No, 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 they're not, they're not. Well, oh, okay, no, they are. Cute. Should I, I go say hi? I no, like no, no do not do that. Please, it. please, I am begging you. I am begging you. Oh I am begging you. Please don't. I'll be right back. No, no. There's <laughs> <laughs> hero in drag. Just deflates. <laughs> and a very tiny version of Hades. The swirling mass of gray gray and black earth just kind of appears next to him and pats him on the shoulder. You can hear Dahlia from across the auditorium be like, hi, my name is Dahlia. I'm so glad you're here to see me in my element. I'm about to go. I'm sure Spiro has talked about me, but if he hasn't, we went on a date once and uh, things are pretty great. It's great to meet you both. 
The woman looks down at you. Uh, Miss Martine looks down at you. She towers over you. This woman is about 6'4", maybe, and she's wearing heels. Oof. Giant lady. Mm -hmm. Step. Uh, hmm. Parlez-vous français? No. Which I guess means we, because... No is no. No. She looks to her husband, who uh, pats her, pats her, pats her on the shoulder, and says something in French. Uh, Kwame, you can actually understand it. Uh, you speak French, right? I speak. Yeah, he speaks a little bit. Yes. And so uh, does Manny. It's okay, sweetheart. It's just he says in French. It's okay, sweetheart. She's just a very excited student here. Um, hello, we are looking for our son. Uh, yay, tall, uh, very skinny boy. Uh, handsome. Uh, yes, yes, very handsome. I don't believe I have seen the son that you are describing. What? Well, I mean, it's not, the, it's not a lie. It's my lie. Give me a charisma <laughs> roll, Dahlia. <laughs> We're looking for a five. Four. <laughs> Rip. Wait, can I use a reroll? Yeah, we can use a reroll. We have five. Three. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it got worse. <laughs> oh no. That, 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 it's that, at that, this that, point. That. Uh, Miss Martine removes her sunglasses, and oh my god, the slow motion, the sparkles, the... I'm not saying I'm every woman is playing, <laughs> but I'm every woman is playing. And she leans down and makes direct eye contact with you, Dahlia. And in French, she says, if you are lying to me, I will step on you, and then I will find your father, and I will do horrible things to him. Dang. Uh, hearing this, for the most part, I get like, like, like you know, 75, 80% 80, 80 of that. I guess whisper again, should you be in this outfit, or do you want a different form for the inevitable meeting with your parents? It's probably going to happen in like 10 seconds. Okay, all right, all right. I just... Actually, between the threat and you whispering, uh, Kwame, uh, Spiro's going to stand up, still in drag. Uh, Mom, do not threaten people. We've talked about this. Why, why, why does everything result in you threatening people? And it always sounds like you're going to do something to the rest. And he is talking in French at about 30 miles a second. And soon, argument in the auditorium between his mom and him and it is loud and it is very french and there's a lot of hand motions <laughs> you need to figure out a way to break this tension like now kim has her phone out and she's filming oh don't you dare i am get this is this is gold this is hilarious daria like go up there and sing or something i don't know <laughs> i can't i'm so scared well she did threaten you and your dad i get it i get it uh all right, fine. I'll go. Oh, is that what I'll... she said? And Manny, like, kind of rushes <clears throat> to the stage and kind of stomps up onto the onto it and just kind of like hits the center stage and just kind of goes, "I, I'm ready to audition now. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna audition now. I, I'm really sorry. I didn't have time to prepare an actual song, so I'm, I'm just gonna make something up. Uh, I hope that's okay. And Manny, if I didn't say that already." Um, pronouns are, are they them and i'm auditioning for any part uh, i have no preference the drama teacher looks up from the clipboard um oh uh mixer uh emancipation um manny. Uh, manny i apologize uh you weren't supposed to go on just yet but uh i figure you need anything to stop this yeah i'll do my best uh, 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 uh you got this thank you Woo! Before he began singing, however, Be Right UK has chosen to draw him from the deck of heroes. Oh, no. <laughs> Why now? Because the deck the deck is 
not evil. The deck is sometimes on your side. You got to. We advantage. have gotten many cards in reverse over the last couple of pulls. It's pretty evil right now. Okay, you know. This is fine. You're not wrong. Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> we got justice in reverse. No. Uh, <laughs> justice in reverse? Wait, what is that? So, Justice. Uh, well, the name's a little self-explanatory. It's about uh, what's right, what's fair. And it's in reverse, so things are going to be unfair. Um, yeah, so this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. The for next now. roll. Whoever has the next roll will have to roll. I'm going to say, I'm going to borrow a mechanic from 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, we'll roll with disadvantage. You'll have to roll twice and take the lower of two. It's unfair, but that's the way it goes. Thank you, Be Right UK. Thanks, Be Right. Thanks, Be Right. So thanks, Be Right. We appreciate you. Hi. Hey, thanks, Be Right. <laughs> and Eviscerate, thank you for the raid. Yeah. So, Manny, you get up there. There's French arguments going on. French arguments. The best kind of arguments. Woo! All right. <clears throat> I usually don't know what to say or what to feel on most days. I sometimes do not know which direction I am supposed to go when they tell me so i just say i don't know and if they leave me alone then maybe i'll fade away but if i step into the sunlight then maybe i'll find my way I just don't know what to say. Oh my Woo! God, round Woo! of applause. Woo! Woo! Was that all Woo! improv? One more time. Was that all improv? Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. Oh Jesus, wow, I thought it was a song. No. I do. <laughs> Kim um... looks up from her phone and she is just like in awe. In fact, I think most everyone is in awe. I've forgotten that the only person who's seen me do this at this table are you and, and Eric. <laughs> I think like the audience is pretty quiet, just like stunned. And literally, Kwame is over there go, Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! I, I hope that that got the attention of the, the French arguing happening in the background. It has, actually. Uh... Between you and Mr. Marti Mr. Martin just kind of getting between his uh wife and son. Uh yeah, no, everyone's in everyone's impressed. It was truly great. Uh Nick holds up and uh, Nick holds up a 10 out of 10. Manny, Manny, Manny Brown. Uh any part is good. Uh, I'm just here to support Dahlia, my friend, who is awesome, and you should definitely- Manny for lead! Woo! Manny for lead! Or one of, one, one of, one of the parts, so I, I don't know what this show is. It's, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, do you need a monologue for me or anything? Uh, uh, no, no, that was, that was, uh, really great, Manny. Um, yeah, well, uh, really great. Thank you. Thank you for that. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna go sit back down now. <laughs> I think that Manny like goes and sits back down next to Kwame and like they're like you know, medium height, medium like kind of build, but like you've probably never seen them look like they look a little bit like they've just done something that was well outside of their comfort zone and and is now just sort of like catatonic almost from it. <laughs> Uh, and Kwame's like, that was like, what? Okay, I know. See, see, I have to prepare because I don't have a voice like that. You just went up there and sang a song that probably could be at like um, Atlantic Records or something. Like, that was good. 
Thanks. I'm Anansi currently wearing a uh, blue Minuteman uniform and a gray wig. Jesus. You, that was incredible. That was very, very good. Oh, thanks. Uh, sometimes when I'm really bored and I'm doing my homework and I get distracted, I'll just sing to myself sometimes. And then I'll forget to do my homework. Um, and then I have to wake up really in the morning, early in the morning to do my homework. And my voice isn't as good then because, you know, it's not warmed up. So I usually get my homework done, like, right before class. Who needs homework with time like that? See, like, if I could just, like, come out of the woodwork and just start singing like that, like, that'd be... Well, I mean, if I wanted singing to be my passion, it's not. But, like, if I if it was, like, that, that's... Wow. Um, was, I, was I really that good? Cast them! <laughs> I have a say. I'm the captain of the basketball team. Oh. Mr. Akinyemi, if you're not if you're not auditioning, not yet. Um do I have to audition? You're on the list. You can do this. And if you're nervous, what you could do is you could always give, ask a Nazi to give you singing skills. Just I feel like that's cheating. You know, I mean, like. Ugh. When, when do I go? How much time do I have to prepare? You're on after Mr. Thatcher, Mr. Mr. Akinyemi. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That, that, yeah, you know. Yeah. Go, Lenny! You got this. Yes. So, Dahlia, how, <laughs> how are you holding up real quick? I feel like Manny's performance really snapped me out of being nervous, but... The energy coming from Spiro's mom is still there. And Dahlia is like sweating. Like she's got pit stains and everything. She's so nervous. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Spiro is going to uh, hold your hand. Wow. Hold your hand. Hold I'm sorry about my mom. It's okay. Um, it's a it's a nerve wracking day for everyone. I'm sure she just wants the best person for her son. And what if that's not me today? Uh, no, no, no. It's not about it's not about you. You, you, you're great. You're perfect. It's just um, uh, they want me to go to a school back in France. And I'm not doing that. Oh, is that why you're all dressed up like this right now? Realizing what he's wearing, he's going to take the wig off, and it is a hateful wig. Oh. I think this thing was alive at some point. Uh, yeah, yes, that, that is why I'm dressed like this. And... Well, I... Um, wh whatever makes you happiest, you know? I I want to stay here with you and Kwame and Lenny and everyone. But they don't want you to. No, they do not. Mm. While you're having this conversation, uh, the, Mart the Martins are having a uh, heated discussion in French. You're pretty sure this whole family, every conversation in this family is a heated conversation. Yeah. <laughs> They're French. <laughs> They're French. Riot first, think later. Yeah, obviously. Ugh. So, Lenny. Uh, are you prepared to audition? Of course Lenny's prepared. He was given a challenge. Oh, dang. He was told in advance. He prepared. All right. All okay, right. I guess Lenny will take the stage. Uh, I guess I guess it's, it's like my turn? Oh, um, yes, Mr. Thatcher, you are up. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, do it. Hi, I'm, I'm Lenny. Uh, do, I, do you I got this. this? Oh. Go! Am I supposed to, like, show my hands or, like... Do I go to the side? I don't. I don't know how this stuff works. Um, um, just you just have to uh, see what you have prepared, and um, 
we don't need to see your hands. Oh, like 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 I can't show them, or it's it's fine where they are. It's fine where they are, Mr. Okay, Patrick. I can put them in the pockets, but okay. Um, hello, uh, my name is Lenny, and uh, I'm I, I'm gonna sing a song from a uh, musical, uh, Little Shop of Horror, or whatever. Um, poor. All my life, I've always been poor. I keep asking God what I'm for. And she, he tells me, gee, I'm not sure. Sweep that floor, kid. Oh, as I, I started life as an orphan. A ch child of the street here on Skid Row. He took me in, gave me shelter, a bed, crust of bread, and a job. Treats me like dirt, calls me a slob, which I am. Uh, thank you. And he like bows. I want it known. <laughs> Kwame has literal hearts coming off of his face. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad, actually. <laughs> he just, he's watching. Hard eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Hard eyes, motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> Just thought I'd uh, give us a little visual to represent where we are right now. Love it. He d he kind of does like the Napoleon Dynamite. He just kind of like bows and then just kind of walks off stage. He's not sure where he's supposed to go. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Thatcher. Hmm. Good trip. All right. Um, that was Robert. good. I didn't know you knew musicals at all, Lenny. Uh, I, I, I asked uh, somebody in the library uh, where... Uh, which ones? And they they pointed at ones they said I could do, that and and I saw the movie once, so I figured it was a good one. Kawame literally has not took his eyes off of Liddy. What made Rick you Moranis decide... is like heck of funny. He is, but what made you decide to do a song like that? Oh, I felt like uh like like his circumstances are like different or whatever because. Like clearly, I'm not like poor, but like I guess I I related with the idea of a person whose uh, life is uh, n outside of their control or whatever. Oh, I I, I get it now. Oh, um, you're really complex, Lenny. Has anybody ever told you that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, you are, in a good oh. way. In a good oh. way. Tight. Kwame, are you okay? No, ah, I'm fine. Oh, and like each of the hearts is pop, 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 pop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, I was, I, you know, I didn't take you for a a purveyor of the arts. Oh, yeah, arts, arts really cool. It's like colorful and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some I mean, of those I, paintings I mean, get, they, they get like real big. They, they do. Because you do. can't see, like, you look at them in like a textbook and you're like, oh, that's not so impressive. But then like you see them and they're like, size of a building or whatever yeah exactly yeah it, it, it's nice i you know i'm more of a poet but um um yeah yeah, arts, yeah cool you should you should do one of your poems for your song no i think that a song thing i think okay um yeah that was just that was just really that was really good lennox oh thank you no, you're welcome you, you um uh you know, like, so I think about dark-skinned black individuals, when they blush, they kind of become purple versus huh. red. So there's like this tinge of purple, like, staining his face right now. Um, and he uh, just pulls a bag of popcorn from underneath the <laughs> theater seat. <laughs> Kim is 100% just still leaning on the chair, taking yeah, some of the popcorn. Like, like, every now and again, offering Kim some of the popcorn. Oh, yeah. No, she's watching this. Is your face okay, Kwame? Because you look like 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 when when I'm like like when a kid's like upset and holding their breath or whatever. No, no, I'm fine. Um, I think because I forget to breathe sometimes too. I think I guess um <laughs> allergies or something in this auditorium. Um, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go on the stage now. I think I'm allergic to um affection. I'm allergic to as as um okay. I'm going on stage. Um, okay. I not see now has what can only be described as seventies. Uh, trailer park hair along with uh, a cape that says Yankee go home with me. 
Hedwig, um, mm-hmm. you have it bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I, 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 I think you do. Take some of that web and shoot it on your face. Okay, you know what? That's very in character for Hedwig, so I'm not going to be offended by that. And I'll, like, get on stage and, like, purposely not look where Eleni is. Um, <laughs> hello. Hey. Kwame. Kwame. Hey, Kwame. Woo! I can hear me. Um, you got this. Uh, um, and uh, I am here because Dahlia Wingrove asked me to be here. Um, yes, I did. I will be. Thank you, Miss Windgrove. Auditioning for um, the story of West Sides, and and uh, I will be <laughs> I will be performing the seminal classic musical. Um, and he like takes out his phone to like make sure he has the lyrics. Um, the these the, the it, it is. It, I heard it was a good one. So okay. Um, the Ipsy Bitsy Spider caught up the water spout. I am very offended. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Like it comes down. And the <laughs> Ipsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Thank you. Uh, I am auditioning for Riff Raff. And, uh, and Tony Danza, I believe those are the roles of this show. Um, I will take anything. Um, I, and, and and thank you. Uh, well, I won't take any. I will. I will take something in spirit. And thank you, thank you Mr. Akinyemi. Thank you. <laughs> Run off stage. That, Ooh, was, that was really interesting, Kwame. Yeah, no, right? It's a bitsy spider. Is a strong choice. I heard, you know, if you do something that people know and then you take it and elevate it, I heard that that is what people will like. So, of course, I would sing that song and uh, much, obviously, you know, um, as best as I can. And um, I, I think I will get a part and I will happily turn them down when I do. I feel like that's fair. You did what you were asked to do. Yeah, and honestly, I've, I've never heard. Further. I never heard that song like that before so yeah good job I, nice remix. I also had another song prepared but i don't i think i guess that would be for what do they call them encore encore oh okay or callbacks and i like run back on stage oh, dahlia oh, said oh. there's an encore so i must uh, no no mr akiyemi no there we don't do <laughs> this is another song classic from sing. um my childhood and i think you will like this one very much crap um Okay, uh, I got Spiro is right. looking at you, Dahlia, like... <laughs> the thing. Um, Why? Spider-Man! 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 A spider! He can spin the web! Any size! Um, <laughs> catches thieves just like flies! Look out! Here comes Spider-Man! Because, Thank Spira, if, if I can't say he's part of the safety squad, I need this to be worth it. Thank you for your time. I will now <laughs> add the part of Maria Chavez. No, that's the um, that's that that's a different person. Uh, I thought that was a Maria. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye. Wearing a Spider-Man outfit and one of his many legs in a cast. Oh, I'm a dark. <laughs> Turn off the dark. Anansi is looking up at you, Kwame. I did good, right? You, you, you did your best, and I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate the support from my friend Divinity God thing. Yes, yes. You really like spiders. I, oh. I thought that was what I. I mean, it made sense. No, you I think do... that leaning into a theme is good. Sorry, like yeah. go ahead. No, I was gonna say you should do. Um... There's that song from that classic rock group, uh, No Doubt, about spider webs. Fuck you. This is Steven Eric. Fuck you. How dare you? Dare I listen, I'm older than you. I'm so old. I'm listen, I listened to that. I listened to that in high school. Uh, so, or I like junior high school. 
Uh, so like, listen, I, I, I hate myself for it, but a child would call it classic. It would, would. It would. I also had um the the story of Charlotte's Web as an operetta, but I don't think we should listen to that one. Oh man, Charlotte's Web is a really sad, sad book. I know, right? Movies. And if it's been turned into a music, oh boy. It would be good. I think I think that could sell out on it's the sad? movie. Really good. How's it sad? Uh because because once it gets an hour and twenty minutes in, uh mom turns it off. Oh oh well <laughs> oh. um maybe we'll watch that on uh, uh, like we can have like a, a movie night, you and me, Lenny. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll watch Charlie's Web and whatever, maybe like, I don't know, um, Friday Night Lights or, or, or uh, some football movie. But whatever you want, well, I don't know what you actually like to watch. Kim. <laughs> All right, it is. Um, I like, I, I lean over to uh, Anansi and I say, can you get the lights? Like, I guess we need the spotlight. One spotlight. I'm injured, and you want light. Oh. You are not injured! That is a fake injury! Let me live my dream, okay? <laughs> and as he removes the Spider-Man costume and the uh, cast, um, now he's a little French peasant boy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Les Mis. Everyone likes Les Mis. I asked you to get one light, and you became the stars that Javert sang about. Please. He scurries off, and and next up is Miss Wingrove. <sighs> Dahlia, as you take the stage, blackout spotlight. Wow. Um, all right, so... Originally, I was going to sing a very popular song, but oh, I. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I. I oh. That I'm going to sing an original song from the musical I'm writing about my own life. It's an autobiography. And mm. I, I'm i doing an abridged version of a song that will come in in Act Two, at the very top of Act Two, oh. and it's called We Will Always Have We. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. <clears throat> He makes my heart skip, he makes my heart beat, every single thing he does sweeps me off my feet. I want to be the one he picks at the end of the day. Yeah! <laughs> will he pick them or will he pick me? How do I explain that he makes me feel so free? <laughs> what if I'm not enough to make him want to stay? And there's a spoken part here, ma'am, <sighs> um, between the two leads, and it's it's a really defining part of their relationship, and it includes like a stage kiss, and then the male lead slowly walks off stage left. Okay? And then the music comes back in. No matter what he picks, no matter where he goes, no matter how many fresh baguettes are in those other windows, mm -hmm. the only thing ah! is that we will always have we. Mm. Yes, we will always have we. Mm. And scene. Oh. So I need you to know, Kawami right now, woo! Woo! Go back! Yeah! I don't know what that was, but it was so good! Omega? Yeah. How's Omega feeling? Just witnessed every white girl audition he has I ever seen, seen. <laughs> in one sitting. Yeah. Look at Michelle, everybody! Oh. And, but also, Dahlia uh, snaps to that. That was very good. Right? Just... <laughs> Excellent. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. It just Biro and Half Drag is just kind of beat red, and he's uh, gonna <laughs> sit down next to Lenny. Uh, Le Le Lennox. Yeah. Was the we in that uh, O U I? Oh, I didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Pat, 
That's so good. That was the was best response. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you guys knew this about Eric, but he is comedic fucking. Oh, Wait, Eric, this is like, not an exaggeration. Eric is one of the funniest people I've ever met. Yes. <laughs> um, Improv is a skill that everyone knows that they learn, that they unlearn as they get older. You can all do it. True. Yes, and. Um, oh, <laughs> all right, looks up next is Miss Winters. Miss Winters. Oh, you Kim. still need to have just um, Dahlia, it... everyone gets to audition, Dahlia. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I was just, I thought I, I was the last, no, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I was the last one. Oh, is this one of those more than four character musicals? Okay. <laughs> uh, from my understanding and my research, West Side Story has like a lot of white people, a lot of non white people, a couple of adults. I think a dog, the dog probably dies. I don't know. Well, oh. from. From what I remember from uh, oh no, that's movie. I am legend. Never mind. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. No, the movie is a, a bunch of white people <laughs> who are mad at a bunch of other white people who are pretending to be Puerto Rican, which is problematic in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. No. No. That is that is questionable at best. Well, my old summer camp. Um, we did West Side Story at my summer camp, and my counselor said that it's okay if we're, if if they cast all white people because Puerto Rico is part of the United States. That's not that that um Miss mm. Wingrove, it is uh mm. we are not going to go into a long history of American colonialism. I am a drama teacher. Please talk to your history teacher. Oh somewhere, somewhere on campus, somewhere on campus, Dr. Wang just stopped whatever she was doing. She was in the <laughs> yes. middle of making lunch for her daughter, and she just stopped and got a headache. <laughs> I think Wait, everyone should have every single shade, <laughs> including white, but wowie, wow. Oh, um, Dahlia. Dahlia, I have a question for you. I didn't think about this until now. Um, If I look at, and I like, he like looks at his phone, and his phone is already on the West Side Story musical Wikipedia page. He's like scrolling through. Um, are you okay with being... Grazie, Graziella, or or anybody's. I don't. Do, I don't even know what that means, because they're they're white, and you can't be Maria or Anita. Oh no, I don't want to be a Maria or Anita. Who, who do you want to be? I, Kwame, I never get lead parts. I'm always aiming for non-lead parts. But. If we were doing, I mean, but if you were, if we were doing a show and would you fit the part, like Legally Blonde or something, um, that's a that's a movie, right? With, it's also a musical, but yes. Oh, with with Reese's Pieces Witherspoon. Um, but if we were doing that one, then you could be. You'd be an amazing lead in that. What's her name? What? Uh, oh gosh, Elwood. That's right. Yeah, but this one, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, we didn't talk about it. We I didn't ask what you wanted to play. Well, see, I'm not my camp counselor. I I don't want to play parts that aren't, you know. Who are you? Right. Yes, that. That's valid. Because okay. you're a decent human being who knows the difference between, you know. Anyways, that's not a conversation we need to continue to have. I think we're all on the same page here. Yes. Um, and as if on cue. Dun, 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 dun. We have a school announcement. All right, kids. Uh, welcome. I hope the auditions are going well. Uh, in, in, uh, you know, the, the, the show, in a show of solidarity, I will sing the following announcements. This is from Five Foot Latina. Thank you to Mr. Z from Campus Security for making sure that only bad kids on North Point grounds are the ones who go here. It, it, it started to rhyme just naturally, but then I lost it in the end. Hey, forget about it. That's uh, that's that's what we got for today. Uh, enjoy enjoy school. Salisbury for lunch again.
Ooh, I like sounds very sick, oh, that sounds really are we done? Actually sounds really, really good. Can we go to lunch now? Uh Kim glances at you guys. Uh I still have to do my my stupid song. Oh, okay. We'll wait for you, Kim. And then we're gonna Thank make you. a Salisbury steak. Oh hell yeah, that sounds great. That uh, actually does sound like it sounds really, like really good. Right? Oh my <laughs> god, I would slap someone for a good Salisbury steak right now. Yeah, with some mashed too. potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. Hi, hi, I'm Kim Winters. I uh, am auditioning for I Don't Know. Do um, you need a headshot? Uh, no, Miss Winters, we don't need a headshot. Great, I don't have one. Why would, why would, why would Kim need a gun? That's not what that means. It's a headshot, like bang, headshot. Like it's a picture of your head, it's a shot. That makes no sense, it's called a head photo. Head. Oh. It's a photograph of your head. Yes. It's like a selfie. But when you, when you a take a picture, you shoot people. I, All right. I, uh, um, it's a, it's an English colloquialism. Uh, I'm African. I know, so am I. <laughs> I think I get it. Sorry, you can go. Woo! All right. Uh, <clears throat> One day I woke up. I was fucking dead. I don't remember anything else. I just remember being so cold. It was a loss and I don't know why. But hey, I was fucking dead. I don't care. I'm alive now. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have nothing left to show. Because I'm not fucking dead. All right. Thank you all. Good night. Great metaphor. Great metaphors. Yeah. You know, the, the symbolism. I think you, I hope it's weird that uh, she picked that song. Right. Yeah. Kim walks, doesn't even look at the uh, casting director, walks right by him up to you for steak. <laughs> yeah. How's therapy going, Kim? It's going great. Why do you ask? Just, no, nope, just wondering. Let's go get some. Some lunch now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Extra Salisbury for, for your steak. As the auditions continue, uh, Spiro takes a moment to get out of his outfit into oh, his invite, normal clothes. Should we invite Spiro's parents to lunch with us? No. <laughs> oh. Why were they here in the first place? I'll tell you over... Salisbury steak. What is Salisbury steak? It's Very like a, soft steak. Yeah, it's like a it's like a, a, a hamburger patty with gravy and mushrooms on it. Very yeah, good. basically, but like super fake. Well, I mean, North Point has money. I guess it's not that fake. No. Nope. You arrive at the cafeteria. It's busy. It is Salisbury steak day after all. And after you go through line and everything, Spiro is going to sit down and look at Salisbury steak. Doesn't it look so good? It is a hamburger. Slice it up and mix it with your mashed potatoes with the gravy and stuff like that. Yes. I eat it like that's the best way to eat it. And but they have like either corn or uh, green beans. Either or goes good with it too. Mm -hmm. When it's become like a non-distinct gray ooze, you know it's ready. Yep. Yep. But more brown than gray. Yeah. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't right. believe me, ask the dishes. Where have I heard that before? Oh, it's Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Yeah, I've only watched it once. All right. I found it kind of weird. Stockholm Syndrome? It's reversed, though, isn't it? It was a very beautiful love story. Oh! Um, ah. All right, Spiro is rolling. Beauty. Spiro takes a bite of the Salisbury steak. Delicious. Did you add the pepper? A little you bit got a mushroom on it, right, too? I, 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 got, I got the mushroom. Yes, cool. I got the mushroom. Shoot like three times, let it sit, marinate. Mm. Might need a little bit of salt, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Lots of salt, ketchup. Parents, oh, yeah, your parents are very salty. Oof, like saltine. <sighs> so what happened? They want me to come back to France. Do you want to go back to France? Absolutely not. Have you told them that? Uh, he is angrily salting, but 
since I rolled disadvantage, I dig into four. He's fine. He stops before he... He already has a little bit of a mound of salt on top of a Salisbury steak, but he stops before it gets out of hand. I mean, a little mound of salt on your steak might already be out of hand. It's out of hand. It's out of hand, but it could have been worse. The sodium gonna make... intake's going to be terrible today. I'm just going to take a, a spoon and get most of that salt and just fling it. Um... Alphagor, the guy who was stalking you earlier, just right to the eye. Oh, God! Ah! Don't worry about him. <laughs> no one cares about that guy. I'm not going to intentionally salt somebody in the face. That is... <laughs> that, that could be permanently damaging. I saw Glee, I know. Oh, doom, 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 doom. No, wrong song. That was bad. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> Just remember, kids, don't call the cops for something like that. Just don't beat them at a song competition later. It's fine. Mm -hmm. um, Spiro lets out a very, very long dramatic sigh because he's French. Everything's dramatic. They want me to come back to France. I do not want that. I have... Kwame, you know, I've been to like six schools in seven years. I'm, I'm fine here. I'm quite happy here. And not to mention, you know, we have we have we have a job. We have a very important job. You're muted. Sorry, my, my bad. Um so have they said why they want you to go back? Other than just wanting to go. They just are bored here or something? Spiro pulls out sunglasses and puts them on. And he sucks in his cheeks. And he already has pretty big cheekbones. But when he does this, he is, you know. Maybe you should think about your feelings. It might help. Possession and fire and an explosion. And then there was a time. Time and Lenny got hacked. And then there was a time. There was a chess piece. And let's not forget. Forget the wee, the wee song for me. I do not know what they have a problem with, but I just know I don't want to leave. That's very fast. It's like a patter song, right? Mm, I think so. Well, um, and I like, kind of like, I like scoot a little closer, just a little bit, and then like take a bite of my food. If your parents want you to go and you don't want to go, but you don't really have a say, um. I probably could convince my father to let you stay with us. We have space. I mean, I guess if they're leaving and you you have to stay, if you want to stay, you wouldn't have a place, I would assume. Well, I mean, I, I live in the dorms. I just, I just, uh, um... What about summer and spring and fall breaks? You can stay in the dorms. No, you're not staying in a dorm over... No, that's boring. Especially when all of us have extra rooms in our homes. I mean, Lenny stays over for the breaks. Well, Lenny is Lenny. So, um... That, that's True. a little... That's a little... It's, it's not comparable. I will... If you want, I will talk to my my father. I, I don't mind doing that. If staying is something you really want to do. If it might be a problem. We'd all be willing to help figure out how to get you to be able to stay. Dahlia, you know how there's nothing hotter than a bad boy who's in touch with his emotions? Yes. You see Spiro on the verge of tears, and it is... That's not hot. <laughs> it's doki doki. <laughs> That's not hot at all. Well, he's not doing the Johnny Depp crybaby? The one tear. The one tear. He definitely has that going on. And he's going to give you a huge hug, Kwame. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you, I mean, it's 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 not the biggest diff. Dahlia's gonna lean over to Lenny. She's gonna be like purple in the face, but she's gonna be whispering, "I told Kwame I wouldn't say it, but that's a real safety squad move." <laughs> it is. Lucky I didn't hear that. I'm over here consoling a sobbing Spiro. <laughs> he's not sobbing. He's not sobbing. He's he, he is French. He's in touch with his commotion. 
That's valid. Attractively crying. Yes. It's valid. He's he doesn't crying ugly in cry. European. He's crying in European. Is he crying? Are you European? Yeah. <laughs> uh, either I, I asked, I'll talk, I'll talk to my father. Um, you're like a brother. So like let's oh. make sure you stick it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you guys have any idea how worried I was that we were gonna be attacked in the middle of auditions? I mean, we we sort of were by Spears' parents, but like a, a full on monster during all that. Could you imagine having to like sing our way through like some weird fight scene or whatever? Kim's working on a Salisbury steak sandwich monstrosity. Don't even say it. Don't even say it. It was bad enough I had to go up there and sing. Having to do that while also fighting? <laughs> no, not today. Not today. Well, How do we, we only hold have this stuff gravy everywhere. We only have one of the crows left. Stair crows. It's or or Oribas. So we don't know. Aha. Hey, in my time studying these things, do I have any idea who Oribas might be or what they might like their domain or like what they tend to do? Why don't you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll? And since I went ahead and took the Injustice Tarot, you do not have to worry about that. Yay. Spear of Felon is sort for us. Yeah, but why did you, like, seriously, Eric, why did you have to mention Tales Race? Because now I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so I don't, I can't keep I don't, my head off of it. I always pick Salisbury steak because I can't think of another specific for school lunch. Uh, that that it, like I was like it's the most like school it's lunch very thing. Very ubiquitous, yeah. yeah. Either that or the rectangular pizzas with little square pepperoni pieces on them. Mm -hmm. I did find a pizza place in Burbank that serves pizza that I can only describe as good cafeteria pizza. Wow, interesting. <laughs> it's called Sicilian pizza. Got a six. Oh. You got a six. Okay. Um, we were looking for a four. So Phoenix possessed the uh, president of the horror club, Maria Chavez. Yes. Gap, the president of the drama club, Christina Thompson. Yes. Uh, Orbis, the tier, uh, the pep squad president, Piotr. Wait, Orbis well, was we... Piotr? I thought that was Valak. No, no, no. Valak was Layla. Furfur was Piotr. Yes. Piotr was oh, Furfer. yes, Furfer was Piotr. I apologize. No, you're good. I was just like, wait, what? Did I miss something? Yes, you do not know who has Orbus. But we but, can assume it's president of a club. Yes. I, I, I guess what I, of a sports team. what I was more asking is what, like, Furfer was doing a lot of storm stuff. Um, is there anything I might have studied or learned or, like, looked up like, like, Oribus is typically associated with blank. Like, is there anything like that I might have read, or? Hmm. Well, with the six, um, let's see. I, sorry, everyone. I do have to check my notes really fast. Um, How dare you do a thing that storytellers have to do sometimes during the during a game? Well, it's like, not fun. Okay. How dare you? <laughs> So what you know about Oribus is he is associated with horses. Uh, he's also associated with uh, kind of future sight. He can give the, if you ask him stuff about the past, present, or future, he knows. And he gives true answers. He also mixes them with lies because demon. Uh, he also played a hand, he claims to have played a hand at the creation of the universe. Have fun with that, if that's true or not. Mm. Um, unlike a lot of demons, Ouroboros is very loyal. Whoever summons him, he will protect and he will listen to. Mm. That's scary, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm just typing this on my iPad. I don't typically do on an iPad. Yes. Um, uh, he is also a great prince of hell with 20 legions under oh, his Oh, that's control. scary. Nobody asked for that. Okay. Um, and we lost Eric. There he goes. Uh-oh. 
gone for yes. He's dead. He we killed him. Arboros took him. Where did he go? Disappear. Disappear. Such a good song. Disappear. Disappear. It really is. Like, I don't like. I don't like really that musical. Song. That's another hot take. I don't care for David Hansen. But that this, the music songs. is good. Yeah. Uh, we are actually ninety dollars away from uh, talking about that. So talking about what? Talking about our favorite musicals or least favorite. We've already done our least favorite because I remember us doing hot takes on musicals mm -hmm. a few episodes yeah. ago. So and I got uh, offended because <laughs> CB said. Ben Platt was like overrated or something. He is. Sorry I about also, it. And I talked mad like, shit on Rent, so uh, I'm no one's favorite. They had so many fantastic choices for who they could have gotten to play Evan in the film, and instead decided oh, yeah. to just well. That's I look more like a high schooler than that guy. Well, that's also because his dad is the producer. Yeah, but then he also made a comment and he was like, the movie probably wouldn't happen without me or something like that. And it's like, you think you're that special, Mr. Platt? Sit down. Well, I mean, all of the Evans... Yeah, all of the Evans... Who is the past Evan Hansen feels with him being like, I'm the reason Evan Hansen's popular. Well, I mean, all of the Evans Hansons are dating each other now, so... Like four of them are dating each other. Yeah. Like not in a. Ben is dating plot. one of them. That was yeah, like a, two different. Evan yeah. Hansen and then people. the other two are dating each other as well. Is that? If you're dating yourself, is that just? Mm, okay. Self care. So we got information about Oribus. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah, back, we by the way. This for when we get that ninety. And right. We get this. Uh, and I'll explain uh, just in case uh, um, Eric didn't hear it. Oribus is associated with horses in future side. If asked about the past, present, or future, they typically tip, give truth and lies because demon. Uh, potentially also had a hand at the creation of the universe. Great Prince of Hell leads legions of demons. 20. Uh, and very loyal. Very, very loyal. So let's see. We've, we've, well. I don't think that we have to worry about any of us being possessed by it, since none of us are the president of the safety squad. Um, so the president, um, there is no president of the safety squad, so we're good. But the school council president, the football team captain, pep squad captain, core club captain, what was the other one? Wait, who's this dude? Who's who's? Is there like a? Like, I don't know, like a like a head horse oh, captain, girl? Of the, uh, captain of the football team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was one more, wasn't there? So captain of the football team, drama club president, school council president, horror president of the horror club, president of the pep squad. There we go. So what other clubs do we have? <gasps> what if it's someone from from the circus club? Uh, there's a the circus Please club. Don't. No, I will not have ancient demon aligned with... Cirque du Soleil. I won't have it. What I will not have it. Club? We've already dealt with chess so much. Are the gluten-free bakers? What are, what, are the, what are the most prominent clubs in this school? And I, by prominent, I mean either influential or <gasps> they, the help the, they, they help the, the school oh, in a certain way. Oh my gosh, Kwame, you're right. The school, school safety squad. They're gonna come for us next because we're so prominent. Kim puts a hand on your shoulder, Dahlia. Dahlia, Dahlia, it can't be us. We are No, I don't know. Dahlia's got a point because, like, every time I walk by, people whisper the word safety squad. Yeah. There is one member of the safety squad that doesn't have a divinity. Nanako? Oh, no. Nana, no. <laughs> And she's like an original member. Kind of the founding member now that Iris is, you know, in France. Yeah. Who we has Nanako's number? Nanako. Well, how many are we looking for? Just one more? Yes, but if it's Nanako, already super, you know. Um, Yakuza yeah, princess, yeah. Oh. Sure. Already commands legions. Okay, well... 
Oh, Nanako's to BBEG. Lenny, you should call Nanako. And then we should look at the other clubs just in case. Like, what about it? What if it's the mathletes? What if it's the robotic club? What if it's the soup kitchen club? What if we have to fight a big thing of soup? Oh, no. What if it's the cooking club? Not going to be the cooking club. But I wouldn't mind fighting, fighting a big bowl of soup. That'd be delicious. Uh, Nick has drawn a giant soup monster. Nick, don't <laughs> die. Don't, you, no! Child. <laughs> Club Sorry. Buy bitcoins. Well, at least then we would be just we would get be getting rid of like a big part of the environmental problem that's been like kicked up lately. Like, I know, hope carbon it's footprint. the cryptocurrency club. <laughs> I'd like to kick their ass. How do we not? Can we bring a petition to the school council to ban the cryptocurrency club? Yeah. Anytime, like I try to talk to one of those people, they they want to talk about Elon Musk or Joe Rogan. So like, yeah. I don't. I don't know how to relate to them. Wait, Lenny, you're supposed to be calling Nanako. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spiro, Spiro gives a very detailed story about uh, the one time he went to a cryptocurrency club and just trolled them for an hour, and it it's pretty fun. But uh, Lenny, you managed to get a hold of Nanako. Uh, um. Hmm. Hi, Lenny. What what's up? Oh, hey, Nanako. We were um, we we're just wondering if, like, um, uh, do you uh, command legions of the undead or whatever? Are you, like, possessed by the devil? Um, because we, we know somebody is probably, um, as like somebody important. We're trying to think of all the people. Lenny, where are you right now? Uh, cafeteria. Okay, I'm coming to you real quick. Just just wait right there, okay? Don't move. Don't move. Um are you are you sitting? Yeah, I'm sitting. I'm sitting here with 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 all the members of the safety squad. Kwame's here oh, and Jesus. and, Kwame's and, not and part and, of the safety squad. And Manny's here and Dolly's here. Uh Nick and Kim, uh even Spiro. Yeah, we're all here. Okay, great. Great. Um Dahlia and Manny you immediately get a text from Nanako. I think Lenny is having a stroke or something. Please make sure he doesn't swallow his tongue. I'm getting my first aid kit and I'll be right there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Lenny. I just need to know uh, what, 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 do you know what day it is? Um, let's see. I normally track that with football practice. It's the day of the audition. Uh, I did a okay. song. Oh, Oh, that's great. That's great. Another text message. Oh my God, he's oh my god, he's imagining things. Help. Dahlia's gonna text back like you should get here quick. Through the front door, Nanako comes barreling in with um a pitcher of ice water and a first aid kit that looks like it belongs on the front lines of a war. I'm here! Jesus. I'm here. Okay, all right. Um she has her phone kind of tucked in the nape of her neck, and she's gonna kind of oh, grab hey, that. Oh, hey, just okay. To you. Drink this. Drink this. Okay. Oh, okay. Drink this. Let me take your temperature. She has one of those. Yeah. It's like a gun thermometer. Well, he's fine. Why are you so worried? He called me about legions of hell and possession, Manny. Last time I heard something like that, I had I got worried about you guys having heat stroke. Hey, what is what is Lenny wearing right now? Uh, athletic shorts and uh, and a very tight t shirt. That's probably a size too small. Um, I'm going to like low cut pack shown. Well, I'm going to pat Lenny on the on the chest and be like, "It's okay," and then like accidentally rip the front, so like more chest is showing. Oh dang! Uh, and I go, "Oh my god." Nanako, do you see that? I did not. Oh wow, that's just. I'm trying to get her attention. Oh yeah, this shirt's on completely me. ruined. I got. I got to take this off. Kwame, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a charisma roll from you, and we're looking for a seven. More popcorn. Wait, wait. Is that the first roll since? Uh no, oh. Spiro took that roll for the salt. Okay, all yes. right. Uh, Nanako <laughs> did not make the seven. Oh no, we have rerolls. We, we have rerolls. I'm scared to push it. 
You could do this. I will. Oh, there okay. we go. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> oh boy. That, that is was so bad. Stressful. <laughs> um, I you just kept the one. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, I like ripped the shirt and like I definitely stare for like a half a second. And uh, I mean, no, Nicole, like look, Ooh, look, look, it's, it's you help him. Um, Nanaka bought 5,000. Will assist Mr. Thatcher. Come with me, Lennox. We should take you to the infirmary in case you are having an episode. I, I don't think that's important. Just, just, just look him over. Really, just look. And as I kind of get away, I come over to uh, Manny. Psst. Um, yes. Your, your ability to like reveal the truth and stuff. Uh -huh. Can you like reveal like auras or something? I think I can do it. I I, I think I'm picking up here, putting down. Yeah. Ma just... Ma Ma just... Yes, it is I, Maat. <laughs> why is Lennox Thatcher shirtless? It doesn't and matter. why is Nanako Majima currently giving him more or less a complete physical in the cafeteria? Uh, that's not all that important right now. What is important is that we need to figure out whether or not uh, she has. Uh, what's that demon's name is stuck in her? Orbas. Orbas inside of her. All right. Uh, go ahead and spend a divinity point and give me intelligence power. Cool. Money is just like, <laughs> he's doing a lot of flexing. He's like, yeah, since I'm not like working out as much, I'm like definitely like gaining a lot of weight. You can just see, like, look at, look at my body fat. He's like trying to like show spaces where it might, and there's none. He's just... right, what am I rolling again? I'm spending an AP and intelligence power. Oh yeah, I have to click back. Oh wow! See what, I yeah. rolled. what did I roll? I rolled a nine. Not bad. Uh, okay, so through your sight, Manny, you are able to see uh, Ninkasi behind Lenny having a laugh. Uh, Persephone and Hades behind Dahlia and Spiro. Uh, Anansi, who is currently dressed up as a light, he has like a little lion mane and everything. It's actually rather cute. Sure. Um, Go live life. Thank you. And while Nanako has definitely become Nanako Bot 5000 and seems to be this social media, uh, she is not possessed, nor does she seem to have anything within her. Good. She's clear. Okay, good. Just we should probably put a shirt back on Lenny. Oh, crap. Um, um, Lenny, I have another shirt if you need a new one. Ah, oh, cool. Yep, I'll reach into my backpack, and it's probably actually like my athletic shirt um, because I have practice tonight. Um, um, so I'll give you the one that I had, and I'll just be shirtless today. Um, yeah, I'll give you that. It's like a nice tank top, but it's like it's like a muscle tee, and it it it's a little tight, a little. Cause I'm I'm he has a nice frame, but you're bigger and like the chest like broader. I um, mean, he has he has a slight slenderness. Going. I get that looks. Kwame, look... give me a charisma roll again. Stop it! <laughs> no, it's funny. Wait, okay. Uh -huh. But we still have at least two. No, I'll, I'll leave that one. Know. I'll leave that uh, one. It's a four. It's a four. Kwame, you got a little bit of a bloody nose situation going on. Uh, wow, this this thing's really good for like showing off the arms. <laughs> oh yes, it is. Um, oh, um, ah, and I gotta like run <laughs> off and go to get a, a napkin. This has been a very interesting day. By the way, Dahlia, do you know when it is they're supposed to have the audition results like posted? Usually, it takes about a week. Um, the reason that they do it near the weekend is so that they can decide and then post it up Monday, and there's like a big cool thing. You know if they're in callbacks or does they just decide after one audition? Well, sometimes there are callbacks, but most of the time it's like there's enough students to cover every part, so they put everyone in a part. Your song yeah. was really good. I didn't realize you were writing a whole musical about your life. Yeah, I've, I've been writing it since I was eight years old. Oh, how long I is really it? Got, I've 
I've really got to, well, currently it's about six acts, and I've really got to get it down to two. Um, yeah, that seems like a lot of acts. The That's like time... almost one act for every year of your life. Yeah, so um, the last time that I did a full runtime of it, it was during the holidays. I do it every holiday for my family. And I love seeing all the new acts and like all the new additions to my life. But the last time it took about um, eight hours. It, Morpheus, it, Morpheus will pop out of your bag. It, I'll have you all know it's a wonderful eight hours, okay? The, the time just flies by. Yeah, and you can fit acts one and one through three before Thanksgiving dinner, and then four through six after Thanksgiving dinner. And it's actually really sweet because there's a specific part in act five where I can serve pumpkin pie, and it's kind of like an in-world thing. It's like kind of breaking the fourth wall, and I get to serve my grandma's pumpkin pie. Anyway, you guys should come to Thanksgiving this this year. Yeah, I'm actually, actually kind of sounds like fun. I, I'd be into that. I, Thanksgiving is a, an interesting choice for a holiday in general, but yeah. Have you shot this um, <clears throat> masterpiece mm -hmm. to anyone other than your family who is obligated to clap? Well, no. Uh, and they're not obligated to clap. I tell them that they can boo if they want. And sometimes they do boo, but it's specifically in parts where there's like villains you know um ah. you play all the parts is it a one woman show <laughs> no i give i give out all of the smaller parts to my nieces and nephews oh that's oh. really cute there's no small parts just small players yes that, that's legitimately adorable and by next year they're all gonna be taller than me though which is gonna kind of mess with some of the dialogue and staging but i think we'll get it fixed before then so it'll be fine so is there a safety squad song? Out of curiosity, because I'm not on it. I'm oh, yeah, curious. you guys, Act 6 is all about you guys. The safety squad or us, that's a difference. You guys and the safety squad. Okay, that's cool. Remember my promise. Mm -hmm. So Does that, that mean means that if I write stuff. But, well, I mean, if I come to, to your Thanksgiving dinner with you, does that mean I get to play myself? Yes. Great. Yeah, I did a really bad part playing you, to be honest. Mostly because they can't hear me, so it was mostly just uh, bunny in glasses, which is apparently very cute. But they did give you the award for the cutest character. True. I they have. I, you have an award show for the six act soliloquy of your life. <laughs> yeah, Kwame, keep up. That shouldn't be a surprise. Yeah. We should I mean, all makes go over to Dahlia's Thanksgiving this year. They're called the Grovies. Oh. I oh, that, love that. The Grovies? <laughs> you know, I guess that got me. That one got award, me. If we had an award ceremony for something that I did, they would be called the Brownies. Well, yeah. They would. I don't the, want to take the credit for it, though. Like, I'm not the one getting all the awards. Uh -huh. We do it for the whole family. We'd be the Akin Yemis, but it's like the Emmys, but you know, like I can give No. I can give you templates and I can give you the, the number of the guy that makes all the trophies every year. Literally just my father and me. We don't need to do that. Well, I guess Spiro's gonna be there now, so I guess it's Yeah, good. no, I'm going to be there and I am I am gunning for a uh, favorite son now. I want you to know that. Oh. Ooh, neck and neck. Spiro? <laughs> I think you're about to fight. Montefroy <laughs> La Crepe de la Louvre. Wow, you added a lot to my name. And I will continue to add parts to your name um, because none of them are Akinemi. Therefore, <laughs> you will not be the favorite son. Sorry. Fair enough, fair enough. I was, I was uh, attempting a joke. I apologize. You can be the favorite um, uh French fry. Oh, they're not even French. I wait. Okay, you're right. But I, it's the I name that comes. Well. Isn't that like snail or like? Yeah, that's snail. Delicious. Oh, snails are so good. I mean, that's they are good. They are actually. In, in fairness, if you cover anything in butter, it's going to. Taste and so garlic. Well, I used to think that you had to eat the shell too, but that's not. No, 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 no. You no, serve no. them in these oh, yeah, little no. look. We serve them these little like clay things with little 
like so like it's just they're very good and you dip your bread in them i like i like them. kim kim puts down her failed sandwich attempt okay so real quick before we get She's into any more that for a while <laughs> she tried damn it but it was a failure uh, before we go any further into the very interesting life of the windgrove family which mind you dahlia everything about you makes sense um what exactly are we going to do about uh, Ouroboros or Borealis? Well, by the way, Nanako, you can go now. Thank you. Nanako bought 5,000 has already ready started Nanako walking Bot off. has been dismissed. Mm, 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 <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> once, once, once Nanako bought realized Lenny was okay. Uh, Nanako bought was going to excuse herself for the remainder of the day. I think that well, we're going to have to start casing every single president of every single club. There are a lot of clubs here. There's the occult club. There is the circus club. We do honestly have to look into the circus club. We don't have club. to we, look into we, the circus club. We do. Why? The engineering club, computer science. <gasps> what if it's a future business leader of America? Okay, I hope it is. I really do. I hope it is. I, I want to beat those guys up. I just want to give one of them a wedgie. Or the Model United Nations Club? Oh, that I would feel, feel bad really that. bad. Yeah. Oh, you know, it could be the model re or the the young Republicans, but we're only doing this as a goof club. What okay, is that different from the young? Uh, is that different uh, from the actual young Republicans? Yeah, they're just the oh. ones that do it as a goof. What yeah, if it's not Republicans a club at all? What do you mean? If Oribas leads legions who leads legions here the glee club no <laughs> um well it could be one of our sports teams maybe no 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 oh. it's the who principal is the leader of the school <gasps> dr ash oh uh, he already has a divinity too yeah, my dad. Oh, right. Dr. Ash has a divinity. We already figured out if you have one of those, you can't have the other. I hope it's not Gladys. Well, I just I just want to confirm. She is suspicious. What about the class president? Already done. Yeah, Layla Saeed. Also, what divinity did Dr. Ash have? Oh, uh, the Jade Emperor. Oh, yes. And Dr. Wang has the... Someone who writes something. I don't remember what hers is. Because Dr. Wang and Kwame have very similar abilities. Yeah, she has the... Uh, I'd have to check my notes, but... <laughs> Look, same. She has another storytelling uh, yeah. divinity. Well, could be the cheerleading club. They're different from the pep squad. They are literally supposed to lead legions. That's fair. Kim drums her fingers on the cafeteria table. What if it's Gladys? I was just thinking that it could be. She is definitely very capable of getting everybody's rapt attention. She is good at it. But didn't you mention the guy was a prince? Yeah. So... Who? Do you think he's looking for other royalty? No, I think, like, all right. So all these guys are like kings or governors or whatever of hell, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm not into this nerd shit. But um, if he's a prince, maybe it's like a vice president or something. The Who's vice, the vice principal? president? Well, that's, do we have a vice principal? Who's the vice principal? I don't know. Who's the vice president of the school? Uh, the vice president is uh, Le is uh, Leroy. He's also on the basketball team. Leroy! Yeah, good. Okay. So we could start looking into all of the vice presidents, too? Ugh. There are a lot Ugh. of those. So many people. I don't suppose you could speed run this, Ma'at? Um, you could try, actually. I was kind of thinking it'd be kind of cool if, like, it manifested as, like, 
uh, the wings kind of transform into like a map of the school. I love that. And then like you see all the little dots of like the students that, mm. and then one of them just kind of pings brighter than the others. Like if it's that person, and then we just have to go to that place and figure out who that person is. Like that's kind of how I imagine it looking at this role is successful. I love that. Okay. Um, it is going to be a higher role. I'm going to be looking for a 10. Okie dokie. Uh, but this is my odds base power, so it's only going to be one AP. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and make it range because you're trying to cover the entire school. Mm -hmm. And hmm, let's make it charisma because this is people. All right, cool. That should be an interesting roll. Here we go. Make sure this we got rerolls. I know. All right, here we go. Fingers Just crossed. In the mouse travel. Here we go. And. <gasps> 10 on the dot. <laughs> My oh, goodness. Oh, snap. Hell yeah. So you got a nine on charisma and a one on range. Ballot. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Whatever works. I got there. That's all that matters. Before the before all of you appears a map made of gold. Uh, and you see black dots representing each student. Uh, there are several red dots, however, gathered around one table. You can safely assume that's you. Oh, look, that's us. Oh, that's cool. There is one dot, though, running around the campus very quickly. Um, and it is a very bright white against the gold. It almost blends in, but spans out just enough. Um, that's your guy. As this happens, just to be safe, um, I'm going to do, 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 and call her Leroy. Uh, you hear a cell phone ringing about three tables away uh, without looking at his phone. Hello, what's up? Oh, uh, 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 I, I meant to call the, the pizza place. Never mind. What? He looks... He looks at uh, several tables. Do not back. perceive me. It was an accident. As this is happening, Dahlia's like pulling out a tiny little recorder and playing a little song to call upon her rabbit army. <laughs> um, first up here, uh, the rabbit rangers, uh, who appear at your feet, and they strike a pose. Morpheus has his little ha helmet on, because go to war. Good evening, my soldiers. I have a quest for you. Sing about it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, we got to give the people what they paid for. Yeah. Here come the rabbit rangers. Gonna <laughs> save the day. Gonna chase the man across the campus. Introducing, and now Steven, you gotta take it. You have to introduce them. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, because they're the muses. Yes, they yes. are. Calliope, Talia, Melpamine, Erato, Arania. <laughs> Rabbit Rangers, Rabbit here to Rangers. save the day. Here to save the day. Gonna chase down the bad guy on campus. Gonna well, lead him over here. Rabbit Rangers. Save the day. Save the day. And then they all do Charlie's Angels poses. Yeah. Like Charlie's Angels. There's five of them, so boom. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Jesus. Listen, I'm just gonna be over here being like, it's a musical. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and next song. I need uh, you to chase down this person. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. And if uh, you can't wrangle them back here, just bring back a good sketch of them. Yes, ma'am. Uh, they all present their uh, etch sketches, uh, crayons, and oh, no. notebooks. <laughs> They're going to come back and it's going to be blank because they're going to be running so fast. It's just going to erase it. 
<laughs> no. That's bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And at this moment, a student walks into the cafeteria as the Rabbit Rangers run out past him. He doesn't look at them, though. He's an androgynous figure with uh, pale skin and gray eyes with uh, a very green outfit and a shock of orange hair amongst uh, jet black hair. And I think it is. They're going to take. They're going to take a seat at the table with the rest of you. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. I'm Loki. I know. I know. Nice I know. to find. It's nice to finally meet you. <gasps> it's nice to finally meet you too, Loki. Hi. You look really good. No, no, no. I'm glad you're no longer a bunny. A bunny? Oh, oh, that's that's going to be fun. You see, what? this is my first time meeting you. What do you mean? This is the first time you're meeting me. I mean what I say. I've met, you've met me. I haven't met you. This is my first time meeting you. But have you met us? Us three outside of Manny, sitting here at the table. Two. No. What the fuck is going on? Why are we all stuck in song? <laughs> because it's fun. Is it? I don't know. It's not fun. Okay, I'll, I'll play along. I'm gonna. If you uh, if you don't know who we are, then um, why are you here? With my guitar, that's a different song. Why are you here? Um, coming from so far, that rhymed. Yeah. Because this timeline is on its right track, and I need to see that it stays that way. Are you here to protect the sacred timeline? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! I was doing it before that damn show, but oh, yes. <laughs> and that's where we're going to call this episode of New Pantheon Academia. <laughs> I love you. Yes, Loki, fully good Doctor Who, living in different timelines. It's very fun. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. And currently, if you are so inclined, you can download the demo for Queers, the tabletop role-playing game. Uh, we will be going to Kickstarter in September, but right now the demo is live. It's completely free. You can get on drive-thru RPG or on cityofmist.co.co. You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I have never worked harder on something in my life, and I really think it's going to be something special. I really hope people like it. And listen, I get so... I got so many fun references in there. We have a woman named Willie who is a ninja. And if you get that reference, I yes, love it. Yes, Willie Ninja. Father, overall father of the House of Ninja. Grandfather Sorry. of Vogue. Very much so. Yes. Um, it's available for free. Please check it out. Um, yeah, apart from that, I don't have a whole lot else to pitch. Uh, Mika, where can they find you and this beautiful dog? So long, goodbye, athlete is in good night. Jesus. We're still gonna sing these, huh? Um, you can find me on any social media site at uh, RIP Mika. Um, I don't have any other regular shows I'm doing, but the Harry Potter RPG Fuck Turfs that, is, uh, that I was in for season one is starting up for season two in September. So uh, I'll see you for that. Otherwise, I'll see you every Sunday for this and Monday to Friday on my Twitch. <laughs> and this is little baby Ray. She has one tooth. One tooth. tooth. 11 years old. One whole tooth. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, let's toss it over to Aki and CB. Sweet. I'll go first this time. Yo, everybody. I'm Aki. You can catch me on Twitter at MixGini in a bottle. That's M X G I. I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, which I no longer stream on, but that's okay. Uh, that's Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-B-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, what have I got coming up here? Uh, Friday, this is Sunday? Tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Catch me over Q times playing Star Trek Adventures with the String Punks on Clear Skies. And then the next thing I'm doing that airs is going to be on Friday in the afternoon. That's Star Wars. We're playing uh, uh, yeah, Edge of the Empire with Desperate Gamble at 1. Oh, the finale of uh, the Grant season finale of Indicate's RP Game Changers is at 3 p.m. on Tuesday. So make sure to catch the second part of Good Society with myself, my co-host Colleen Kelly, and uh, Erica Fermina and Ruben Bressler. It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Uh, uh yeah, and then and then what's up? Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Boy. Critical Boy across all social media channels. Uh, I'm not doing much this week because obviously I am not in San Luis right now. I am on the West Coast uh, with some folks having a good time. Uh, I'll be back home on Thursday, and then my stuff will pop back up after that. But you will be able to catch me on Tompo next Friday over on Rock Punch ATL, uh, which is a, a D&D game using the Islands of Sina Una campaign setting, which is a campaign setting inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture. Catch uh, Saturday with Aki for Let's Get Wild Now over on my channel, twitch.tv slash critical part <laughs> at 3.30 Pacific time. And on Sunday for Dungeons and Durags for uh, it's a three thirty uh, Pacific uh, time as well. Uh, support Dungeons and Durags. It's so cool. It's a lot of fun. They uh, have an amazing cast. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's that. That's really it's really me. Um, I, uh, I I do want to say that uh, uh, it's been really hard for a lot of people on Twitch the uh, past couple of weeks. Um, so. Um, F, you know, people who are trying to make, make mess people up. And I hope you all are having a wonderful uh, day uh, and weekend. That's me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Go take your medication. And finally, mostly Eric. Hello, everybody. Uh, you can catch me later tonight, 730 Pacific Standard Time on uh, twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. For The Board and Barrel, which is a, a, a show where we play a bunch of board games. We're playing an old in a really old Sherlock Holmes mystery board game, uh, which should be very fun this week. And apart from that, you can catch me mostly Eric on Twitter and Twitch and all the other stuff and see me post all the weird, dumb things that I build. <laughs> I love it. And real quick, before we call it a day, uh, Gen Con is coming up. We will be having events at Gen Con uh, this year. Uh, get the full... Gen Con online, to be precise. Uh, None of us are going to Gen Con this year. Not this year. Hopefully next year. But hey, uh, you get all the information you need with exclamation point Gen Con. Uh, so check that out in the chat. Otherwise, we will let you, we'll keep you posted on all the social medias for Saving Throw Show. Special thanks to Dom Zook for making this possible. We would not be Ooh, able to you, do Dom. it without him. And thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and just being awesome. We love all of you. So until next week, have a good one. Stay safe. Bye. Fuck turfs. Fuck turfs. Fuck turfs.